Uh, the digital gender divide is real and it's actually increasing. And even just from research alone that we've done at the Web Foundation, we've found that women are 30 to 50 percent less likely to be online. And even once online, they're less likely than men to use it for social, economic, political empowerment. So some of the causes that lead to this digital gender gap or divide uh, range from even um, offline inequalities or previous inequalities actually replicating online. So anything from income, uh, how much income men versus women earn, will will actually determine who gets to uh, afford the devices, the cost of continually buying bundles or internet broadband connections at home, um, everything from gendered, how we're gendered and socialized in terms of who gets to speak up, who gets to feel that their voice counts. And so all these factors we see them are actually uh, lining up. Men are more excited in smart widgets as compared to women. I've just told you because they're excited about the technology, more men are into technology as compared to women. So there's been a lot of um, this notions that are sometimes unspoken but are very sort of like embedded in societies. Girls should do the softer stuff in school, the humanities, which are very important, don't get me wrong. But, um, you know, the hard stuff, the engineering, the technology, the math. If a girl sort of like is not really feeling it, it's cool, just go do the, you know, the, the humanities stuff. So those, those things have been inculcated over time. Uh, like in our school, accessing a computer lab. It was only accessible to girls for a few hours, but for boys they could go for more hours than girls. It matters because at the end of the day, um, if we're saying this is for everyone, we have we can't turn a we can't turn a blind eye to the fact that just because we spread out the internet, go you forth and spread masks or whatever, we can assume that um, everybody will be connected. It means we're missing out on ideas. We're missing out on people who would be creating, people who would be generating ideas and contributing to a new ecosystem that's becoming the pillar of many of our lives. So we have to factor that in. We have to monitor it. We have to be very deliberate with the investments that go in to make sure who's we understand who's not connected and why, and how can we actually take this to them in a way that actually empowers them and actually lifts them up from whatever divide is holding them in a different space.